Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to export photos like a pro in Capture One 11. Before we jump into the video, remember if you want to try out Capture One, you can go to Phase One's website, download the software there. It gives you a 30 day free trial. And at any point, if you want to purchase a software license to continue on the checkout page, you can use the voucher code AMBCAI to save 10%. I will put all the information in the description below. So feel free to check out the description. Now let's jump into the video. Right now we are inside Capture One 11. Coming from Lightroom, what I was used to was a right click and then go to export variants and then go through all these menus and then click on export to export this photo. And then go to the next photo and then right click export variants, go through the same menu again. And then next time I finish uh, a photo, right click export variants, etc. That's what I was used to coming from Lightroom. But then I found that there is a feature in Capture One that is pretty awesome because it can save me a lot of time. And that is process recipes. Process recipes is under this output tab. If you don't have this output tab, just right click here and then go to add tool tab and then go to output. The recipes here defines how you want to process this photo and where you want to export this photo. So as you can see, I already have uh, some recipes defined, but let's do it from scratch. Let's start from scratch. So uh, let me show you. Let's say I create, I just create a new recipe. Let's say main full size, because I want to use this recipe to export photo at full size. Now coming this section, process recipe, that's where you can define this recipe. So I want to explore photos as JPEG at 100% quality and the color profile I want to use sRGB, uh, res resolution 300 pixel per inch. Uh, the scale is fixed at 100% because I want to export at full size. Now go to this file tab, I can specify where I want to export. So this root folder, go to select folder, and then 2018, I want to select full size five. Select this folder and adjustments. Usually for full size photos, I don't apply uh, output sharpening, but you can choose uh, sharpening here if you want. But for this full size, I'm gonna leave it as no output sharpening. And the metadata, you can uh, you can choose what metadata to maintain, and if uh, if you want to add a watermark to the photo. So after that, uh, you can just ignore this output location because if you specify the file directory here under this file tab, then it's going to override whatever the uh, uh, output location you specified here. So uh, I just I just ignore this section and I go to the next. So for this photo, you can just put a name here. So this is that horse point state park. And then this is the process summary. As you can see, the recipe is main full size, uh, file name and the full resolution. That's 100% scale, color profile, your format and the file size. And now uh, select your recipe and click on process. So it's going to process your photo based on what you defined here and then output this photo to full size 5. So that's the photo. Let's go to properties, details, see that's at full resolution. Now let's say if we, if I want to export this photo at a small scale, smaller scale, so I can share on my social media, I can click this plus icon again to create a new uh, recipe. Let's say main smaller size. Okay, let's uncheck the other recipe. Now let's define this uh, recipe again. I want to export JPEG, 100% quality, color profile sRGB, 300 pixel per inch. And in this case, since I want to export a small file, I'm going to choose short edge to be 700 pixel. 
So what that, what that means is basically this short edge is going to be 700 pixel and choose the output directory. I'm going to choose web five. Select this folder adjustment since I'm gonna since I'm going to resize this photo. So I want to apply a little bit output sharpening for a screen. That looks good. Usually I just use the default setting here. Metadata watermark watermark. I'm not gonna touch these settings. So I have um, ba the basic setting here and then ignore this output location and this file name is still good. Then I can just click process. You can review this. So the size is gonna be 1049 by 700. It's gonna be 17% of the full size. And then I can just click on process. And now if I go to web five, the photo is there. And if you look at the resolution, it's 1049 by 700. So it's a much smaller file. Now let's move on to the next photo. So for this photo, I don't need to right click, go to export and go through all this menu again. I don't need to do this again. Basically, if I want to export this photo as full size, I can simply select my recipe here, main full size recipe and click process. It's that simple. Oh, I forgot to change the name. Uh, so probably you want to change the name. Let's say, let's change this to uh, Colorado Herman Gulch. That's where this photo was taken and click on process. So basically I just export this photo twice. Now let's go back to the folder, go, go to full size five. So this is the, uh, the photo that I export the first time. I forgot to change the file name and this is the new file. I export again with the new file name. So as you can see, I just, I simply need to change. I just need to change the file name and I don't need to touch anything else. I can just select the, the recipe and then click process. Now let's say if I want to export a smaller file for my social media. So I just select this smaller size recipe and then uh, click on process. That's it. And it's going to produce a file in this web five folder. So that's it. What's cool about this feature is you can select multiple recipes at the same time. So let's move on to the next photo. If I want to export this photo at full size as well as smaller size, I can choose both recipes, both full size and a smaller size, and then give it a name. This is a, a lighthouse. Let's just say lighthouse and then click on process. So that way it produced two photos. One is the smaller file under this web five and the other one is the full size file under the full size folder. Go to the next file. If I want to export both full size and a smaller size, same thing, select both recipes and then give it a name, sunrise and then export. Okay, so now go back to the full size. Sunrise is there. Go to the uh, web five, which is the smaller file. Sunrise is there as well. Also, this works for uh, a batch of photos. So say I select all these four, four photos and I, se I select both recipes. And now I click uh, proce process. Before that, let's rename these photos to photos. Okay. So we know after export. Okay. So I select these four photos and then select both recipes, click on process. After it's done, we can go to this uh, web five. That's the smaller file. You can see photo one, photo two, photo three, uh, photos. Okay. One, two, three, four, all four photos at smaller size. It's in this folder. And also we go to full size folder. You can see uh, photos one, photos two, photos three, photos. So these are the four photos at full resolution. So this recipe also works for a batch of photos.
All right, guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Remember, if you want to purchase the software license for Capture One, you can use the voucher code AMBCAI to save 10%. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. And if you are not subscribed already, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more photography tips and tutorials, post-processing tips and tutorials. All right, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time. Bye.